Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Today we've got a another appetizing looking microwavable delight. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, so this is Speedy Chef Two Donner Kebabs. Uh, so I got this out of Farm Foods and their freezers, of course, and this was a pound. Um, I've made one of the Donner Kebabs. It's quite big for what it is. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. So this is their two Donner Kebabs, two pita breads filled with delicious lamb Donner meat, cabbage, and onions. So that, um, on the surface of it, sounds quite nice. Of course, this is a microwavable thing. So I put this in the microwave for two minutes. It says on it, it's another fine product by Easy Chef Limited. Yeah, well, we'll be the judge of that. Finest frozen foods by Speedy Chef is, is their Mediterranean style recipe. It is made in the UK, uh, suitable for a halal diet, and um, best before the end of March 2023. So there's plenty of time on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I'll go through the ingredients because I, I don't normally go through the ingredients, but this is um, there's not a lot to it actually. So I'll go through them just because there, there's only a, a handful of them. So the filling is halal lamb, 40%, 15% uh, onion, 15% cabbage, chicken MSM, 5%. I don't know what that is. Uh, beef fat, textured soya vegetable, rusk, soya protein, salt, herbs, spices, and flavor enhancer. And then you've got the pita bread, which is made from wheat flour, water, yeast, soya flour, salt, and preservatives. So it's, uh, yeah, no, not too much in it, which is a good thing, actually. I hate it when they put too many preservatives in stuff, especially when it's a frozen thing, because frozen stuff doesn't really need preservatives unless you want to keep it for, like, years at a time. Uh, storage instructions. Keep frozen at minus 18 degrees C. Do not refreeze once thawed. Use within one week. I don't know, I've had it... Uh, it's only been in there a couple of days. Frozen food compartment of refrigerator use within one month. Frozen food compartment used be best before date. Food freezer used best before date. Okay. Um, although ever care has been taken to remove bones, some may remain. Now, the cooking instructions on this is something that I found, found quite funny because I feel like this just hasn't been updated in like 10 years or something. Because it says, to microwave, 650 watt. IEC category C oven high and cook for approximately two minutes. Now who has a 650 watt microwave nowadays? Only if you've got like a 10 or 15 year old microwave. Like mine's a 800 or 850 watt. You don't really get 650 watt ones anymore. That's just silliness. This product contains gluten from wheat and soya. But yeah, so I chucked this in for two minutes. So technically speaking, according to these instructions, it's probably a little bit overdone, but Hey, that's what it is. Now, nutritional information, uh, you kind of have to do the maths on this one yourself because I'm not figuring it out, but it's 340 grams in the box. So for two of them, you're talking, what's that, 170 grams each, and this only gives you the pair of 100 grams. So you'll need to do a bit of maths to figure this out. But um, ultimately, it's uh, it's not great for you, but it's not... Yeah, it's just not great for you, let's just say that. Uh, 254 calories per 100 grams, so probably around about 400 all in. Fat, 13 grams, which is quite a lot. 5.7 grams of your saturates, so it's more than a quarter of your saturates for the day. Uh, 24 grams of carbs, which isn't too bad, but it is still quite a lot. Obviously, that's the pit of bread. Uh, 2.9 grams of sugar, 2.3 grams of fiber, 9.5 grams of protein, and 0 0.81 grams of salt. So... Uh, nothing out of the ordinary there, but uh, ultimately not very bad for you. Okay, I guess I need to show you it. So that's what it looks like on the package. That looks quite appetizing, right? That looks rather nice. Just the tomato there, the meat looks nice and cooked and everything. This is what it looks like. It uh, looks a bit soggy. It somehow manages to look soggy and dry all at the same time. I mean, there's quite a fair amount of meat in there, so I'm not complaining. And this was this was 50p because it was a pound for the box and you get two in it. The onions look a bit suspect. Um, just got one big chunky ring of onion there. Um, yeah, the meat looks really dry. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it does in the box. It looks all chewed up and horrible. Uh, so I'm gonna spread the onions out a wee bit, I think. There's no sauce, didn't come with any sauce or anything, so you probably have to provide your own chilli sauce. Right. 
sit right there. Don't know if I've made that look a bit more appetising or not. I don't know. Probably not. It looks a bit horrible. Can't say it smells particularly good either. <clears throat> Alright, Speedy Chef. This is their two donor kebabs. And this is one of their two donor kebabs. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? It's quite big. It is a fairly large portion. Which part of that is the cabbage? Where is the cabbage? I think it's... Cabbage is all on the bottom. 100% hmm. needs some sauce. Definitely needs sauce. The um the pita bread is chewy as all hell because obviously the pita bread has just been microwaved from frozen. So it's quite chewy and pretty soggy as well. Um, I want to try a bit of the meat in isolation because it's got a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of kick, but couldn't really taste much. This feels really spongy and stringy. Mm. It's not good quality at all. <laughs> it does taste lamby, but it's very, very mild flavour. Although there's a good bit of spiciness to it. But it doesn't really taste of much. Definitely tastes closer to kebab than it does to like burger or something. Um, the texture isn't great. It's quite um, quite gristly, quite fatty. Uh, I mean, let's be honest, it does not look fantastic. Um, the onions and the cabbage, because they've been nuked, Got no flavour. All they do is add a soggy texture to the to the pita. Mm. Yeah, I'm not keen on that. Definitely need some sauce, so I'm gonna add some sauce to this before I finish it, but it's not great. It's not great. The meat's very poor quality. I mean, let's face it, I mean it's 50p, so you can't complain too much, but the meat is very low quality, it's gristly, it's fatty. Um, the inside of that's all just soggy, and the, the pita is chewy, and, mm. chewy on the dry bits, and then soggy on the soggy bits. It's um, it's not good at all. It's really spicy on the tongue though, but with no flavour, which is a bit boring, a bit weird. So yeah, don't like it. Would not recommend it. Um. Very hard to find a good microwavable kebab, I have to say. I haven't found a good one so far. Uh, I've tried a lot of different microwavable kebabs on this channel. I'll probably put some links to one or two of them in the, the cards. But, uh, yeah, just not good at all. Pretty poor, really. But, uh, yeah, wouldn't expect anything else from farm foods. Well, there you go. That'll do us for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit the wee bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. Let me know if you've tried this donor kebab thing. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've found a good microwavable kebab or a good um, kebab, you know, donor kebab type thing that you can get in a shop, then please let me know about it because I, I love donor kebabs and I would love a, a good option for that rather than going to, if you go to a kebab shop, I go to any ke kebab shop and the kebab meat is almost always great and I love it. I just don't like getting takeaways all the time because it's expensive. Um, so it's nice to have a cheap alternative. Even though this is cheap, it is very, very cheap. You're you're getting your you're basically getting what you pay for with this. It's crap. It is really, really poor. I'd say that of just about any donor kebab microwavable thing that I've had. None of them none of them have been particularly good. It's either that they, they always they don't taste right, they don't taste nice or they don't taste of anything, or um, they just become sweaty and soggy and it's, it's horrible. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you very much, guys. I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you then. Cheers.